1941, I was the last of, of my mother and dad's four children. Just before I turned two years old, I contracted uh, strep throat. The strep throat evolved into rheumatic fever. The rheumatic fever evolved into juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, which affects the whole body, not just the joints. I had a rheumatologist. They utilized the hydrotherapy tanks, the stainless steel ones. And my mother noticed that, uh, that I was indeed more comfortable and pain-free and flexible after the hydrotherapy. So she asked my dad, can you come and take a look at this thing? Maybe you can make something for the bathtub at home. He designed a unit for our home bathtub. He invited the doctor to our house to see the unit. And he said, this is great. He said, he said, why don't you make them and, and, and market them for other people who could benefit from hydrotherapy? So they got into the business and they started manufacturing them and selling them through dealers. You feel almost immediately, I mean, really. Pain reduction and flexibility, and the buoyancy of water, the water combined with the, with the massage and the warm water and the whole thing, it really feels good. Yeah, the rheumatoid arthritis constricts you. It limits your range of motion. And now that I'm 74, my range is much more limited. But the hydrotherapy has, has really you know, allowed me to live a normal lifespan, uh, which is kind of amazing if you think about it. It is really incredible. Yeah, particularly yeah. since my folks were told when I contracted the arthritis uh, that I wouldn't live to be three years old. the air and the water. Now the two were combined with the uh, hydrotherapy device. It's always been one of the um, keys to our design, an important part of it. Air adds to the water and, and vice versa. They have a synergistic effect. I got the benefit more of my entire body than I did in the hospital. But even most importantly, I was able to get that benefit every day rather than just a couple of days a week.